So here's a quick video of my PID controlled hot plate slash stir. Um, as you can see, it's not totally complete yet. I still need to build some ceramic feet, shorten this a little bit so it's not so massive. Um, however, let's give her a quick fire up. I'll show you how she works. So you can see the PID controller. It's a pretty effective system. I, I definitely need to do some adjustments to it to get a little more accuracy on it. It seems to heat up too fast and then overshoot by quite a bit depending on on whether you're uh, using the actual plate itself. There's a thermocouple inside the plate back here and then I have an external probe which you can read from either one. You just unplug the one, put the other back in. So after you put it in, it kind of has to get its bearings again. And then here's the uh, magnetic stir. I machined a, a part on my metal lathe, kind of a, a heat sink to kind of keep the heat a little more dissipated from the magnet. And I used a pulse width modulator circuit from that I just ordered off eBay for about $5. Um, I was going to build my own, but honestly, you can't beat how compact the cheap units are from China now. And... Uh, it can control everything down to a pretty low speed too, which is pretty nice. So as you can see, nice and slow, or you want to kick it up. And of course this thing can way overshoot the speed and, and often decouple the magnet. But it's a really accurate system. Uh, I mean, you can, I've left it on overnight just to test it, make sure it works okay. And the pulse width modulator is great. Very accurate. It maintained what looked to be the same speed overnight with no ill effects whatsoever. And it's rated for 10 amps. Uh, I'm only putting one amp through it, and I highly doubt that little computer fan is drawing that much. So, pretty good system. Thank you for watching.